the end of 2020, I quit my job and I took a year and a half off. I wouldn't start the next job until the beginning of 2022. Um, and I, I wouldn't start making content until the end of 2022, just so you can have like a rough timeline there. But man, when I took that time off, it was amazing because I, I kind of had a little bit of a plan for it. And my plan was don't force myself to do anything computer related at all, at all. So I have other hobbies that I'm interested in. I do like woodworking and stuff. Um, I don't talk about it much in this channel. I should, it's really fun. Um, but I had kind of exhausted woodworking. I wasn't sick of it, I wasn't burned out. There was just not really much I wanted to make. I can only build so many tables and <laughs> desks and stuff. This desk I actually built myself, so um, pointing to it like you can see it. But my other hobby is music. So I really went hard when I was unemployed on my YouTube channel for music. There I made remixes of songs. I did like original piano pieces and stuff like that. That's where I learned about content creation and how hard it is to actually like grow a YouTube channel. But it was amazing. I was being so creative. I had been burned out of tech, like industry burned me out, but art pulled me back in. So in the like being able to create music again, just got the creative juices flowing. I didn't think about programming at all. I didn't care about programming at all. I was just focused on music and something really interesting happened. It was about six to nine months in that. So like six, to nine months being unemployed, I got the urge to code again, which was weird. So I didn't force it, but I didn't fight it. I just said, okay, if the urge is here, then I'll indulge it. I won't work any harder on it than I need to, and I won't stop myself if I want to really go at it. Like, I'm going to just let it flow. If I need to stay up till five in the morning programming something, hey, that's awesome. If I'm gonna work for 30 minutes and I'm done, hey, that's awesome. I don't have a boss. I'm not reporting to someone. I'm not making money for this. I'm going to do it completely for the love of the game.